Today we are headed down SR 389 through the Arizona Strip to the belly of the dragon. And we've never been here before and we're excited to share it with you. So come along and join the adventure. Welcome everyone to Weekend Escapades. Today we are headed to belly of the dragon. Now belly of the dragon's down the highway a little further but first we're going to stop in Colorado City. You might know Colorado City best for it was the home of Warren Jeffs, the leader of the FLDS for some period of time until he was arrested for his crimes. But this town is taking a turn for the better as now they have some fantastic restaurants and we're going to enjoy one of them. Colorado City, at edge of the world, brewing. And the weather is really good. We've acquired a table outside. We've got a 50-50 pizza. One's a jalapeno and, of course, pepperoni. you got to go with that. And a couple of brews. Well, the pizza and the beverages were amazing. One thing about Colorado City, a lot of these little motorcycles with kids on them going up and down the road. I couldn't believe it. I bet about eight of them went by while we were eating lunch. So down the road we go, and we are headed to Coral Pink Sand Dunes. What a beautiful location. All right, so making our way from Colorado City to Coral Pink Sand Dunes in Utah. So Colorado City in Arizona had an amazing pizza and beer fest there. And then right over here to Coral Pink Sand Dunes. We're going to go up top where you see people walking from there and see what it's all about. I hear a lot of ATVs, but it's supposed to be beautiful. Now, as we walk up the trail to the Overlook, now's a good time to give you a little history about the Coral Pink Sand Dunes. So this started about 15,000 years ago. Piles of coral pink colored sand blew through a notch between the Mokeith Mountains and the Moccasin Mountains. The wind tossed into the valleys where it is now lying in drifts of sand in this Southern Utah State Park. Now, this area is very attractive to outdoors people that like to do side-by-sides, quads, those kind of things. This sand is perfect for it. Now you could spend all day looking at the views around here and all its beauty, but hey, we've got a place that we promised to share with you. And that is the belly of the dragon. So let's get back on the road and get to our destination. We have made it to our destination. As you can see right there behind me, that is the belly of the dragon. And what that is, is a large sand tunnel that goes under the highway. You can see it's carved out of that stone, sandstone. We're gonna climb up in there, and see what it's like firsthand. I've seen a couple of things online, but I've always wanted to come to the belly of the dragon as it's supposed to have fantastic aesthetic inside. Let's head on in. Here we go on the trail. Looks like there might have been quite a bit of water coming through here recently because we've had a lot of monsoons. So we'll see what kind of damage or what it looks like on the inside if the water actually funnels through this tunnel. I imagine every time the water comes through here it makes it look a little different. There's the opening right there. Gonna have to drop on in there and climb down a little bit. Get inside that cave. There's a lot of carvings and initials in here. It's like all the caves around Kanab, everybody carves their name into them. Kind of fun to see. Yeah, it is really cool in here. That's about like 20 degrees at least difference. This is <laughs> just nothing but signatures. And it's not, not everybody could probably climb in here. It's not terribly difficult, but at the same time, 
quite a bit of stretching and climbing at the very beginning. Thousands and thousands of carvings and signatures. See it on camera, that's amazing the way it looks on the camera right there, really cool. But being in here, in the echoes, look at that. Now it's a pretty nice path. I'm gonna sandy on the bottom. You can't see real good right here, but good enough. Just gotta watch your step. I'm glad we could share this with you. You know, you never know how it's gonna turn out on camera. But this is where we're, we came from right out there. Just photographs really well. So we're just surrounded in Utah, sand tunnels and sandstone. But this is the area that's the other sand tunnels that we had that were man-made, uh, where they used to take and just take sand out. And they used that sand for, to resell. So they resold the sand and it made these amazing sand caves. This one, just a little different. Nice setting here. This whole area. It's just beautiful. That big cave. Right over here and a large group of people going through that have never been here before. And there she is filming back at me. <laughs> so the cave being behind me, <clears throat> there's a uh, really nice sand bed path in front of me. And so it's a really nice hike right up this, this draw, right? So it looks like it's a, uh, an area, you can see it back there, like where water would run. And uh, really, really pretty. A lot, of, uh, a lot of flowers and things off to the side. A lot of beautiful rock formations. There's just something about it when you're looking at a rock cliff like that with Pinion pines on it and the beautiful sky above. Just look at that. You know, we see it a lot. But you just appreciation, right? You get out here in the middle of nowhere. But yet the highway is running right up there. So that's what makes me think. I didn't look it up. I didn't have service on the phone when we got here. We knew where it was by GPS. But I think that's a man-made cave where the water just ran underneath the highway. But I'm going to double check. Well, that's what it looks like to me. So again, thanking you for watching, but you know, I'm gonna go back because two years ago we started the channel and we really started it because we were going to a lot of places and we wanted to film them and mostly because we wanted family to see what we were doing because we moved to Utah. And we love California, we love Arizona, love the way they look. We were sharing it with people and you know, with family. So we put it on YouTube for family to be able to see it on video. And people started liking, sharing the videos, subscribing. So we did more and people were really liking it. And we really appreciate it because this is not what we did or we're planning on doing. And we absolutely love it. So glad that you like it, that you're watching the videos. Again, the appreciation, just absolutely much love. We're so happy about this. And uh, again, thanks for watching and just enjoy the beauty of it all. This right here is the end of the trail. So see what I'm thinking is, is right here, the water, obviously, right? Water rushing off of here, down here. And then through this ravine, it's all sand covered. The only thing in it is sand and, and Lisa, there you go. And then we go right down here. So we follow that trail all the way down and it goes to the cave that runs under the road where we're gonna head back to and show you a little more. Sometimes it's just little things like this, rock formations that have been eroded from water, you know, a little bit of shale and different layers of rock. To me, I just find that interesting. There's some kind of a beauty in it for sure. And that's what I like to share, but it's so hard to capture it when you're not here doing the hike and a lot of people can't do the hike or won't be able to because again, we're in Utah, that's 
can be on the other side of the country or the other side of the world. A lot of people won't be able to see it. So that's why we share things. Because we do these things anyway and we just love sharing it. Another spot of beauty right there, look at that. We appreciate you watching. We hope you subscribe, like the channel, like the video. We want to keep doing these things and sharing them with you. We've been doing a lot more. We're trying to travel a little more, get a lot more done because we just love putting these up and keeping them for a little bit of our own channel history and what we've done and where we're planning on going. We thank you for watching. Natural beauty, natural art. Yeah, the water definitely just runs down here through this ravine. All right, coming back to the tunnel from the backside, another group of people coming through. It's a very popular place. You can feel the cool air just coming out of there like a breeze. It's just like this air conditioner blowing on you. Again. Got a carving. My gosh. Oh, that breeze feels good. All right, so I found out the information, the history of the belly of the dragon. So it's a cave-like tunnel that is actually man-made. It was originally created to divert the water under Highway 89. And that's what I was thinking based on the fact that we were walking in what looked like a bed of sand from water running by. But over time, drainage from Upper Canyon water and the flow of that water has carved the walls and created a picturesque rippling tunnel of sandstone and that is what we are in right now. So now this is known as the belly of the dragon as maybe this is what the belly of a dragon really looks like. I'm not sure. I've never met a dragon. You can see how smooth the walls look and I can tell you firsthand by being in the belly of the dragon that it is very smooth so very slick hard and the sand that gets on top very hard to walk on the surface because the loose sand just rolls right off the only remnants of a old tree that i've seen in the whole tunnel it's in there pretty sturdy too Okay, so that concludes the belly of the dragon. So, heading on down the road to the next destination. All right, from our last destination, which was the belly of the dragon, we found our way to Fredonia. This is the old gas station that we have uh, filmed before, and I keep hoping and hear rumors of the fact that maybe, just maybe, they're gonna fix this up. This post right here used to be covered just like this one over here with cement on it or stucco. But look at this old service station. Still has all the signage on the side. It says right up there, gas oils, oils, right? So gas oils and groceries at one time. Many signs have been painted on it. Some solid wood blocking up those windows and doors. And that is a skeleton of a cat. That, that's not right. Hopefully that's fake. It says right there, service station. This was a beauty back in its day. You can just imagine the pumps out front here and the way these were put together. Here in Fredonia, I imagine this was quite a nice little station and a place to get groceries. And that's going to conclude for today. And until our next adventure, goodbye from Weekend Escapades. 
and we'll see you on the road.